So, this is kind of a tough duck update to offer you guys today. Um, I came out this morning to do my usual duck chores and feed and water the ducks and let them out and collect the eggs. And as I walked out to the duck house, I noticed that it was silent. And, and that's kind of rare for the ducks. Usually by like 6.30 or so, they're, they're squawking away and, and quacking and, and you can hear sort of a little building rumble as they get all excited to go outside, but it was quiet. And so as I walked up, I had this like nervous feeling in the pit of my stomach. And as I looked in through the window of the duck house, I could see Samuel and Jemima and they were like covered in red. And as I got inside and opened up the door, there had been an attack. Um, I don't know what exactly happened, but, you know, the whole duck house was turned over. There was eggs and blood and feathers everywhere. And uh, the dishes were turned over. Some of the, the, the hay bales that I used to insulate the duck house were flipped over. It was like chaos inside. And as far as the ducks themselves go, let me show you here. It wasn't good. Um, of our 17 ducks, I noticed one missing, and we're only down to 16 ducks now. Um, many of the ducks seem to be injured, like they have uh, some sort of bite or attack mark around their neck. Um, you can see this girl right here. She's got it, kind of. Um, some of them seem okay. Like, she seems okay even though she's limping a little bit. I don't quite know why. Um, some of them just really don't look good at all. Like, you can see yellow neck and Mundungus there. <laughs> There's yellow neck. He's doesn't look good. Neither does Mundungus. Now this girl right here doesn't look good. Samuel and Jemima actually look okay. They have blood on them, but I'm not sure if it's their blood so much. Uh, they seem to be actually the two that are in the best shape. Um, there's also that girl right there. She seems okay. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Right now, I'm just really focused on taking care of the ducks. I just got them some fresh water. I just have no idea how this happened, and I don't know what happened. It's just... Uh, in terms of trying to figure out what happened, I don't know. I mean, look inside here, guys. That got knocked over somehow. Eggs are scattered everywhere. Blood smeared in places. It seems like they've sorted themselves in two different camps. You have the seriously injured over here, and then you have the sorta injured over here. I'm really worried about those guys. I guess when you have a crime scene, you should treat it like a crime scene and investigate. No idea where that 17th duck went. And I'm looking around here. I can't see any sort of signs of like forced entry. I 
I don't see any spots where the ducks could have potentially gotten dragged out of. When I built this place, I double and triple sealed it with chicken wire, both on the inside and outside, so I don't know. I thought I had this thing as tight as a drum. I, mean, I guess there's a crack there that's not double sealed, it's only single sealed, but... I couldn't even fit a duck through there. And, and I mean, it's like one of the ducks is just completely gone. I mean, I think I'd find a carcass or something here. But nothing. Definitely a lot of blood on the ground. I mean, in terms of outside the duck house, I don't really see anything either. I mean, nothing forced through the door. The door looks like it's in good shape, even though I think that greenhouse plastic was already a little bit ripped, so that wasn't from this. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of a specks of blood there. Doesn't seem like anybody dug through or got under. I'm not seeing like a bird dragged out. Like I feel that. I feel like that bird getting dragged out would be my telltale mark. But I don't see anything. Is this a spot? I mean, I guess that could be a spot that something could get in through there. And all through here is sealed up. And again, like dragging a duck out of, oh wait. Is that a plant? Or no, that's, that's just a plant. I thought I saw specks of red, sorry. I mean, I guess one of the things that's actually fundamentally different is that, you know, everything's melting right now. Whereas for the last, I don't know, five, six months, the duck house has been surrounded in a sheet of ice and snow, and now that's melting, and, and so somebody's probably out there hungry looking for something. But I can't for the life of me figure it out. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me what it could be. If this was like the bobcat that we had floating around here a couple months ago, uh, I feel like all the ducks would have been dead, and I would have had way more carnage on my hands. Uh, same goes for a coyote. I mean, if it was a bear, the doors would have been ripped off the hinges. Um, so that leads me to believe it's something smaller. Um, it still almost still feels too small to be a fox that got in there. And I feel like a fox would have probably done more damage too. And I've even had to deal with a couple of raccoons in the barn over this winter. But then I, I guess I'm gonna get go with the, the most likely candidate being some sort of weasel, whether it's a marten, or a fisher, or a mink, or some other type of, of weasel. I feel like that's the most likely candidate because number one, like there's no large gaping hole. And number two, a lot of like the bite marks on the neck, which I think weasels are prone to like trying to drink the blood. If you guys have thoughts on what it could be, uh, let me know. Could really use some advice right now. Um, I'm just looking at the ducks right now and they just look so sad. I mean, look at this.
So it looks like I've got 13 eggs. I'm gonna actually get these inside. So I guess I have these eggs and I have some eggs uh, that I have saved from the last two days. I have an incubator that's supposed to be coming uh, this week. I'm gonna try to keep these preserved and uh, hopefully these will be the ones I get to hatch. I really had lots of bigger plans for hatching this year, but man, I don't know. So I guess right here in my hand stands the next generation. <sighs> you know, just so much sadness here, so much sadness. I'm gonna head into town and uh, try to get some supplies, to, uh, try to take care of these guys, get them cleaned up at least the best I can. I know I'm gonna probably have to make some tough decisions this afternoon about who I keep and who I put down. Um, I don't know, we'll see.